Hey guys, this is What If here, and welcome back to NASCAR 14. As you can tell, I'm on the dashboard. I'm just starting this cold turkey. Um, I'm really sorry that I haven't made any videos in the past week or so. I mean, I have, but there every win videos and not like any Let's Plays. I've been sick. I had strep throat. I had three little uh, white spots in my throat. And I went to a, a walk-in clinic inside of a, sto of, um, inside of a store that has like a doctor's office. So I went in there and I asked for, or I told them, you know, what was up. She basically said I wasn't sick enough to get anything. Cause I went there around like the third day that I was sick. And apparently I need to wait day five or seven to get something because I guess it wasn't viral or some shit. But then it just kept getting worse and worse. So then I went to my family doctor and they're like, oh shit, we need to get on that and they gave me like this pack and I took those like every day and I'm better so thank god but um <sighs> but um I'm finally back it's been a pain I've been feeling like complete crap um I just been really shitty but I feel better now and I wanted to do these because I kind of miss doing them they're fun even if I get pissed off because you know it's, it's fun to watch people get mad it's not fun for me, but it's fun for the viewers. But, um, so, I'm back, and, uh, let's see what we can do. So, let's go into single player and go to single season. Uh, we're going to change the paint scheme. I'm going to pick the, uh, the Sonoma car. I tried doing this earlier, and my PVR fucked up, so. I, it's not really quite cold turkey, but at the same time, I really didn't get anything in. So, we're going to do the Sonoma car, the Kelly Blue Book one. And uh, we're going to go to season standings here quick and look at them because it's been quite a while. Um, mainly we're going to be focusing on people outside the chase. So Almadinger is good at road courses, so this is a good chance for him to really do well. So we're going to be looking around like uh, fifth, uh, pretty much 13th to 18th because they're pretty close together up here. Or yeah, so Brad to uh, Almendinger are pretty close. It's a five-car battle, see so who's going to get in the chase. I mean, it's interesting. I mean, that's the only thing that's interesting going on here. So, Watkins Glen is a track that I like. It is very fun. Um, on this game, I can still say it's fun, but the AI are kind of... For the most part, they're pretty fair. They're not... They don't randomly break check. They're not god-awful, so... It's not that bad. So, thank, thank baby Jesus, but, um... I'm going to be starting last, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Um... I did a bunch of practice races, and if I do say so myself, I kind of did it with no problem, really. It wasn't that bad, but again, anything can change when you're... <laughs> when you say stuff... When, when I say it's like, oh... <coughs> okay, so... Um, the race length is going to be 20%. It's going to be 18 laps, because this race is way too short, so... We're going to make this a little bit longer, so it's going to be a little bit special. So we're going to accept. We're going to put in the, uh, we're going to go to race, and I'm going to put in my custom setup, and then we're going to get this underway. Um, normally this track's fun. Um, I mean, anything can change, you know, I could say it's like, oh yeah, I practiced a lot, and then in the video it's like, you're wrecking a lot, so how does that... Anything can happen. It could literally, I can do this and be like, oh yeah, and I believe you, but then there are times where it's like, oh yeah, I, I practice a lot, but then the actual race I'm wrecking a lot, so. I'm telling the goddamn truth I am, but it's just, it's funny how stuff like that turns out. So there you go, that's the custom setup. And then we're gonna go straight to race, so sorry for the delay, it's already been four goddamn minutes, but hopefully you enjoy me talking a lot. But I'm um, looking forward to this. Look, I got my McDonald's drink here, so I have something to uh, quench my thirst. So, I'm going to be starting like 40 seconds, even though I didn't qualify, so that's why. Alright, it's going to take a while for that get ready thing to come up. Come on. Get ready. And... Go! Green flags that were underway here, Watkins Glen for the Cheez-It 355, or what I like to call it the Budweiser at the Glen because I'm a 90s kid, I guess. Wow, Josh Wise, holy shit! How the hell did he make that work? Look at that! He, 
he braked way later than me and ha and it actually pulled off. That, okay, that's, I'd never had that happen to me before us. God damn, Josh Wise did a, an amazing move. I mean, that's, what is up with these random rannies that are like always in the back but always have these like little moments where it's like, holy shit, they did something cool. Please. It's gonna be one of those races, isn't it? I just turned a uh, fucking Alex Bowman. Ugh. Fuck. Um, I'm. This had this happened so much. I swear to God, I can do a compilation. It'll be like an hour long. Cause this happened so much. You know, I I just fucking said. You know. Oh, you know, I practiced a lot, and then in the actual race, I'm a fucking joke. Whatever, this game makes anybody look like a joke anyways. If they were doing the same Zach regiment thing I did, is anybody pitting? I guess a couple people did. Hopefully the leader didn't pit, because that would be really fucking funny. Yep. Yep, Edwards and Larson and Ambrose pitted, because, you know, why the fuck not? It's gonna be a long fucking race, I can tell you. God damn it. I can't believe Josh Wise made that work. I mean, he just dive bombed the hell out of that corner and it actually worked. And I gained a couple of spots because a bunch of bums pitted, so congratulations. But I'm on the outside line, so I'm kind of fucked. Alright, so I'm just gonna try to take it easy and. Nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, you know. All right. All right. Okay. I'm getting like. Okay. Okay. Yaley, you piece of shit. What is up with Yaley and the, and me in this damn let's play? Something always happens to me and him in these damn races. I swear to God. Okay. Please, like, let's make it past the, the freaking whatever the Casey Kane chicane. I call it. I don't know what it's called. Probably a chicane. I don't know. I always call it the Casey Kane chicane, and look at the feel, holy, holy mother of smoke. Okay, so this is the farthest I made it, and that's pretty goddamn amazing. Jeff Gorin way back here, as you know, because I'm sure he was one of those idiots that pitted. Hey, I'm Jeff Gorin, I'm a racing legend. Now, you know, let's pit at Watkins Lever Track, position is absolutely important. Alright, so... This is, I've said Pocono was intense, but right now this is like randomly intense because like I'm trying to get by people and it's just like they stop or I'm just getting there at the worst time. There we go. Please just get by him. Oh, okay, or just side slide hit him. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's, I can't even say it's late out because it's 11.30 and that's a respectable time for an adolescent to be up, so whatever. Um, Kyle Busch is leading. I'm in 32nd. As long as I get to around lap 9, I'm in the mid 20s, I'll be okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know why. Okay, that wasn't me that time. Look at the field up there. there. There's somebody way in the grass up there. Michael Waltrip's off the track. What is going on back here? This is, this is actually kind of intense, and I'm not even involved in it. Let's go three wide. I'm in the grass. Okay, he gave me he gave me room, so you know I'll give him props, but gotta be careful going through here. Make sure I hold the bottom. Here comes Gordon. I really have like nowhere to go, or you know, go all the way on the outside, almost clip the wall. Or okay, get God, I can't go anywhere. I'm I'm fucking stuck. I have nowhere to go. I I know where to go. I can't push it because I'll just run people over. This this kind of. Okay, okay, that Gordon, Gordon hit uh, Colwitt, and Colwitt shot up the track, and I got into him, or he got into me. That wasn't my fault, so for once, Gordon made a mistake, you know? Wasn't me that time. And still, uh, Josh Watt is still ahead of me, so that dive bomb move still kind of helped him out in that very first lap. Like, I'm really fast. I just I just can't get by anyone. I'm just stuck back here. Alright. Okay. 
some of them, some of those AI drivers hit the cones up there. I know I didn't hit them. Huh, huh, all right. All right. I I could pass them, or or that can happen. That's absolutely wonderful. I can't stand that shit when you hit them once and then they'll just squirrel around and then they'll break check you. It's like what the fuck. I. I swear, this game is worse than any other fucking Nutanix game. I, I, I'm glad their license is done. I can't get by a goddamn fucking person. This is starting to piss me off now. So much goddamn faster, but it's like, I either get some at the worst time, or I, or they just break check me. Maybe this maybe this track isn't as good as I thought. Like, I want to get by them in that tunnel turn, but if I do, they're just going to run me over, or something dumb will happen. This is actually just starting to piss me off now, because I, I need to start going now. And I can't get fucking held up by a bunch of these guys. Oh my god, what is fucking up with me today? I'm like doing apps. Oh my god, just get by one fucking... Per it's been like three laps, please. Oh my... This is really fucking pissing me off. Just go by him. God damn. Son of a bitch, this is ridiculous. It's taking me three goddamn laps to get by one fucking person. What is up with me today? Just go. Man, oh man, that was fucking ridiculous. I think it's just like that I, I'm trying to get by someone, but they're like side by. I don't know what it is. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me today. There we go, finally. I, I just need a... I just can't believe it. Like, I don't know why it's such a big problem to get by people today. Like, I've done so many goddamn practice runs, and I haven't really had that much of an issue. And now, all of a sudden, it's really, really fucking hard to pass people. I have my setup on. There's no, uh, there's, it's not that. Alright. Maybe I, maybe I am like Dale Jr. at road courses. Like, well, maybe not this year, because I think in, in 2014... He got 3rd Sonoma and 11th at the Glen, so he's actually... Was okay. Oh my... Please save it. Okay, he saved it. And I should have shipped it in the 4th gear, but... I wasn't paying attention. Okay, get side by side with Almarola here. Okay. If it gets to lap 9 and I'm in 21st, I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, but I kind of have to do that to make my status quo. And I really have nowhere to go. But, you know, I'm going to gain a couple spots here, and again, I have nowhere to go. Oh my god, this... Oh, man. That was uh, randomly tight. And I didn't really gain anything. I can try to pass someone going in the tunnel turn, but I don't know if that'll work out. I'm just gonna slow down here. Really. It's like there is passing spots, but once you get around here, you really can't pass people completely. I mean, you can try, but it really doesn't work out. Or if they do that, where they kind of just like slow down trying to pass Tana or whoever, uh, clear up there. Um, I got the bottom. Oh, actually kind of made it stick, but I didn't really uh, have the best run. And they're going to stop, like, brake check me, or whatever they're going to do. And I'm going to slap the outside wall. Here comes Trix. I'm, we're you know, pinballing off each other now. Alright, so sometime by the end of this lap, I have to at least be in, like, 21st or 22nd. I, I know I have a fast car. I know I do. I just I just don't have the ability to pass around anyone right now. Maybe once the field starts breaking up a little bit, maybe it'll be a little bit easier. And just can I please get by someone? Can I like not get, get try to pass from like the worst possible angle? Okay, okay, that was you know that, I can tolerate that. That wasn't too bad. I got a little sideways, but it's okay. I was starting to really get fucking pissed off because, like, for like three laps, I couldn't get by anybody. It's like, I don't know what wrong, was wrong with me. I know I'm doing this kind of like cold turkey, but that's just, it was ridiculous. Like, Inside. maybe it's the fresh tires, even though it was only one fucking lap, so that, that can't be it. But again, this is NASCAR 14. But then again, this game doesn't really have much tire worth, so I can't even use that into the argument. So I don't know. Could be just me being shitty. 
Dave Rudiman being in 21st is a little bit confusing too. But hey, I got it to like lap, by the end of lap 9, I was in 20th, so I'm happy. And I ran the back Menard. That was, I don't know. Alright, got by him. Since the field is a little bit spread out, I can see what I can do to try to pass more people. There we go. Okay. It was that was kind of a bitch trying to pass a bunch of people there earlier because like it was so damn pa jam packed I just couldn't get by anymore. And uh, gain a little bit on Bane. Purposely threw the car in the corner like an animal, but it's okay because I, I guess I got a runoff. Okay, I mean that technically I mean it is runoff, so I'm not gonna really get mad, but. Here we go, alright, if I can complete the pass, alright. Okay, maybe finally I can start gaining some ground. Because as you may have told, seen when I'm actually, actually all by myself, I'm, you know, doing okay. Like, I'm catching them pretty damn quickly. So, I don't know, I don't know if I'll, I don't, there's no way I'm going to win, I'm way too far back. If I was like 15th or something by the halfway point, you know, maybe, but I, I'm, I'm way too far back. I have to haul ass and take positions effort, effort, effortlessly, effortlessly in those couple of laps, so, I don't know. Let's get by Logano here, going into Casey Kane chicane, cutting the fuck out of that corner like a, like a, like a down you know. Did a terrible job entering that corner. It's funny, actually, because um, in the real life NASCAR, I actually went to this track for the first time, and it was really cool. Uh, I went with my friends, and it was actually pretty damn intense. I actually, yeah, I actually got to see Kevin Harvick. He acknowledged my existence along with my other friend, who is Harvick's like his favorite driver. So that was amazing. So that was cute, and it was funny because later on he went on to win the championship. So I got to see him before he was an NASCAR champion, so that was, that was kind of cute. So here we go, I'm gaining more spots. Larson, um, we'll have to see where Almendinger is, because uh, if he's higher up, he might actually have a better points day, but um, the battle for who's going to be in 16th spot in the chase is actually kind of interesting, because we're close to the end now. After this race, will be uh, three more races, I believe, so it's going to get pretty uh, intense. So, um... Like I said, I do like this track, but man, when it was around, when I was around other people and stuff, like, I don't know what the hell it was, like, I don't know if I was catching them at, like, the wrong place at the wrong time or what, but man, I just could not get a break. I was just, I was catching, I guess I was catching them at, like, wrong places at the wrong times, I don't know, but that was, that was, like, the biggest struggle I've ever had trying to pass people in the early beginning like that. Unless I had people, something to do with, with hitting, but that wouldn't really make sense, because it was only one lap and I kind of just booted Vickers out of the way so I'm uh, I'm sorry Vickers but um if I continue at least at this pace and not run people over I'm looking for a, a solid top 10 points day so that's good cuz you know I need I need some of those good runs I have a massive points lead so I don't need to worry too much but it was kind of like at Pocono where it was like halfway through the race I was like in 31st but then by the end, I just managed to barely get a top 10. Like, I was like, I just gained like so many spots near the end. I was like, hey, top 10. But I don't think it'll be like that this race, because I'm pretty close to the top 10. As long as I take my time, I'll be in the top 10. I can at least say the, the, the AI, though they do brake check a little bit randomly, but at least the racing's intense, you know. It's like, some tracks are okay, and some are just really bad, like, Bristol and Martinsville, it's like, they're like three and four wide, and it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what Eutenics was thinking with that, but... You know, they're, they're, you're, uh, the British, they don't, they've probably never been to an actual NASCAR race. So they don't know. And, uh, Truex kind of, I don't know what he did out before, but I'm going to use, uh, Hamlin as a pit and just get by him. There we go, gain a couple more spots. And Almondinger's in ninth, so he might gain a little bit of spots on uh, the, the chase contenders. So, eh, huh? Cowboys may win this race. I don't know how many wins he'll have this season, but I don't know how many wins he has. But he looks like he has a pretty okay cane. Okay, cane. No, 
I mean, he, I mean, he did have the position. I mean, he was completely clear, but man, he just barely cut me off, and I just kind of derped through the chicane there a little bit. I'm just gonna try to hold the bomb here so they don't run me over, but I kind of didn't. But it's okay. That was, uh, I mean, it was kind of douchey for Kane to do that, but, I mean, he was clear, so, I mean, he could do that, but, man, it was close. I'm, I'll, I mean, I'll just get top 10, but I'm not going to win, so it's kind of shitty. It's kind of hoping with the longer race, maybe I can get a win, but I was hoping for at least an entertaining race if the race was longer, because this race in real life is way too short. And running like four laps or nine or how many it was with normal percentage, our race was like way too short, so I had to make it a little bit longer. And it was worth it, I guess. Almendinger's in ninth. Stewart, I think, is in eighth. That's my nose is itchy, and I'm going to fuck up the, the corner now because of that. Thank you, nose, for itching. <sighs> well, just don't block you, Kane. Fuck you. Alright, go through the Casey Kane chicane. And just gain a couple more spots. Wow, I'm kind of surprised in the past like four or five laps I've only gained a second on Kyle Bush. Like I was like 11.5 like, and I'm only now 10.4. Wow. Probably because I've been trying to get around these people and he's just all by himself. Actually, that's not Stuart, that's uh, Newman. And I can't get by Elmendinger. I don't know why. And oh, 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 wait, I'll just. I'll just pass him on the outside. Very unorthodox, like. Or try to go three wide. Okay, that's good. Okay, maybe if I'm, like, all by myself, I can start, like, uh, catching people. I would hope I can get a top five, but... I'm probably too far back, but I'm just going to try to see what I can do here. I'm 2.5 seconds back from Harvick. He's not, oh, Harvick's not around anyone. Once it's Harvick, then it's a pretty big gap afterwards, so. I might get 7th, but that's, that's probably about it. Which kind of sucks, because I really want to get a top 5. But hey, if, you know, top 10 or 8th place or whatever I'm going to finish now is going to be okay. And I gained like 7 to, uh, maybe about half a second that lap, 7 to 8 tenths, so. That's pretty good, so maybe probably by like the end of lap 18, for the, actually literally on the white flag, I might just start getting by Harvick. So I don't know, but eh, I'm fine with a top 10. I got 7th at Pocono. Eh, I'm fine with another top 10. Top 10's win a championship, right? Oh wait, it's this modern day chase where it doesn't fucking matter. Because people like Ryan Newman can finish 2nd in points after just being consistent all season long. Even though Harvick deserved a championship, he definitely... It was either him or Gordon that really honestly deserved it, so I'm glad Harvick won. But, how the fuck Hamlin or Newman even got in the top four is just being consistent. But it's like, I mean, it's good to be consistent, but wasn't that the thing they were trying to not do? Because they got mad when Kansas won a championship in 03 because he only had one win. But yet, Hamlin and Newman made it to the final four. When that like piss people off, but oh wait, it's a different era, so it doesn't really matter. It's oh, it's unique and interesting. If they did that shit back in fucking nineties, I would still be pissed off. I I can't stand this broken ass chase format. But you know, whatever. I'll just look at the point standings as it would have been with no uh, standings or with no chase thing, because Goran would have won. And all that bullshit, because he, Gordon deserved it. He, de he was either Harvick or Gordon that deserved the championship. And white flags out after me ranting, and I'm probably going to get seventh. I'm about three seconds back from uh, uh, Kislowski, but I'm not going to gain. I'm not going to have enough time. So I think seventh spot's going to be the you know where it's going to finish out, and I'm fine with that, because I got seventh with the Pocono. After the race I had this time, I didn't think I was even going to get a top ten. It was kind of the same thing with Pocono, where I was so far back halfway through the race. I didn't think I would have a shot of uh, catching anyone or even making a top 10 finish. So, this is good. I, I'm, I'm fine with this. Um, it looks like Cowboy is going to win. He's going to lead all the laps. He pretty much pulled away for everybody. So my throat is killing me because my throat hasn't healed yet. This is a long fucking race. Holy shit. So, 
getting to the final two corners, and it looks like Kyle Busch is going to get, oh, oh wow, a lot of smoke ahead of me, but that's just tire smoke or brake smoke, I don't know what it is. But Kyle Busch wins here at Watkins Glen, and I believe uh, that might be like his second win of the year, I don't know, but I'm going to get seven. I'm perfectly fine with that. That was a, oh, that was a painful race to do for quite a while, because like, it was like, I don't know why. Um, Kurt Busch got fifth. Almendinger ninth. Uh, let's see where Gordon finished after pitting like a like an idiot. Oh, 20 second. You gained absolutely nothing, Gordon. And Johnson got 28th because of that. But Kenseth and Larson's gonna get screwed in points. Edwards and Ambrose screw themselves. So Yaley got last because he sucks. There you go. That's that race, and that was a. Uh, Ambrose just screwed himself out of the, uh, uh, making the chase because he decided to pit on lap fucking one. Congratulations, Ambrose. You just cost yourself a chase spot. God damn it. <laughs> this shit like that really just shows how broken ass this game is. Like, Eutenix is like, oh, we didn't think about implementing the AI's pitting at any time during cautions. Let's, let's do it every fucking time a caution comes out. So now I have a 29 point, uh, 31 point lead over Biffle. I'm pretty fine. Actually, Kyle Busch got his first win of the season. So he's Lara already locked in the chase. Um, nothing too much. Uh, Vickers gained one spot. Boyer gained two, so now he's in the top 16. Almendinger is now back in the top 16, but uh, Ambrose and Larson got completely screwed. So, uh, well, not really, but. They lost a lot of spots, Ambrose and Larson. That really hurt them. So, uh, after that race, next race will be at uh, Michigan for the, whatever the name is, 400. So, that'll be fun. Michigan's a, uh, a fun racetrack. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you stuck around. This has been a long ass video. It's going to be a long ass fucking video to render, but it was worth it because it was fun. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. And uh, have a nice day, and I'll catch you all at Michigan.